thing. We're not far away right now, John, and, and this is the first time we've seen this type of progress. I told you one of the things that's so impressive, three times they got down inside your ten, you turned them away. Well, to, to win championships, we've talked about it a long time. Uh, you've got to play great short yardage and goal line defense. Uh, you've got to stop the run, and you've got to run the ball. And, and our defense on Saturday uh, played lights out to uh, uh, stop Georgia Tech down on the goal line three times, get the fourth and one, force some field goals, uh, gave us a chance to win the ball game. Had a lot of big plays that you've got to take away, but kept them out of the end zone a large part of the day. 13-13 tie, Carolina-Georgia Tech. We'll come back and show you first half highlights after this from First Union. Both North Carolina and Georgia Tech have very good defensive teams, Coach, so that this game pretty much followed a script. We thought it would be a close game and a good defensive struggle. No doubt, John. We felt like that the kicking game, field position, and turnover ratio would make the difference because there would not be a lot of points scored. Offensively, we got off our rhythm early. We made some mistakes. We got a little frustrated, came back and played a little better the second half. Defensively, played great when it counted. Couldn't have been a more beautiful day at Keenan Stadium on Saturday. Atlantic Coast Conference football, North Carolina against Georgia Tech. Carolina football highlights brought to you by Gatorade. And, Coach, there were some terrific football plays in this game, and we're going to see one of them right here on the opening kickoff. John, there's no question about that. Bernardo Harris, a Chapel Hill uh, young man, came down here the first time. He was recruited mm. by Georgia Tech, and he wanted to let him know he was still here. So he knocked him out on the opening kickoff, and that set the tempo for the rest of the day. Defensive quickness. You've been wanting it. You got it now. We've got a lot of people flying around the ball. Roy Barker played hard. He had to move, and, and uh, Jonathan Perry there. Roy had to move over, and... Uh, because of the loss of Dennis Tripp, and he handled it very well. Here's a third down uh, screen to Means, Coach. We did not get on any rhythm during the ball game offensively, but we made some plays, and it's an outstanding job by Natron Means. He's going to be a good football player for us. First down, Carol, uh, Georgia Tech 26, and the Tar Heel defense comes up with a big play. Here's Bell, their tailback, jumping through there. Eric Gash gets, uh, knocks the ball loose, and Doxy uh, Jordan, two juniors that have played so well for us for the last three years. Uh, get on the ball here and, and give us the turnover and give us a chance to head the other way. Good field position change, John. Freshman, Natron Means. Again, good blocking up front against one of the better defensives in America. And, and uh, we got a little frustrated, as I said, but I was proud they hung in there and fought through it. 32 yards, Clint Gwaltney coaching uh, the Tar Heels jump on top three to nothing. Clint Gwaltney does what we ask him to do each week. He's placed those kickoffs in good uh, position on the field, hits the field goals when we need them. Great catch by Merchant. Great catch by Merchant. They, uh, Sean Jones to Merchant. They've got a lot of weapons offensively and hurt us on third and long, but we came back here. Critical play in, in the uh, critical situations on defense. Good call by our coaches. Cookie Massey uh, coming in with Eric Gash again for the big sack. And yeah, Coach, their 37-yard field goal sailed off to the uh, right, so it's still 3-0 Carolina as we pick it up first down and 10 on the Carolina 20. Again, we've got uh, an excellent run here by Natron Means. He breaks tackles. Uh, he's like a lot of the thousand yard backs in, in Carolina's past, John, and we're going to have a lot of good moments with Natron before he leaves North Carolina. I believe you are also coach with Michael Watkins here. Great job with Michael Watkins. Good blocking up front. Michael got hurt in the first half. He, he had a, a pull growing muscle and a hip pointer, so he didn't get to play the second half, but he's got the speed to break one. This merchant guy uh, is a big play player. Uh, he is. It puts so much pressure on your defense, too, when uh, you've got Sean Jones that can move around and bootleg and, and keep the ball and sprint out. Uh, excellent throw and catch by them. This was a this was another big play, a pass interference call here. Another big play. The fans will have to make their decision on this one, John. Call against North Carolina is a 15-yard penalty, uh, and then uh, Jones, the quarterback, when he's in trouble, he seems to get better. Oh, well, here you go. You, we bunched up in a goal line defense to stop him on third down and two, and Sean Jones outruns us to the end zone on some misdirections. Good call by Georgia Tech. Excellent play by Sean. Seven three Georgia Tech. Reggie Clark out of Charlotte. Watch this hit. Another guy that's been around a long time, Reggie Clark, is doing so much for our kicking team. Mm. Bam! Knocked the ball loose, and Georgia Tech's really fortunate to get on it there, John. Reggie comes back and has maybe the biggest play in the ball game in the second half in the same situation. Sean Jones, uh, quarterback, great speed. Look at this, Coach. Yeah, worst thing we did all day is lose contain on the blitz. And he helps you lose contain because you better get way up the field. And I think we misjudged his speed there a couple of times. Excellent play by them. And then they put right up the middle for 21 yards. Softened us up, uh, and they uh, hit the draw play up inside. Rodriguez is going to come up on third down eight at the Carolina 30 and pick up 25 yards, and then the Carolina defense comes alive. Again, sprint out. We miss a tackle here. Hang on, Cliff. Uh, excellent pursuit. We played 
championship type goal line and, and defense here on this series and in the second half, John. Got the fumble right here. We got it loose. Get on the ball. It's really close to having the turnover at this point. Third and one, Tommy Thigpen's going to make a great play. Tommy's a great player. Penetrates. We're in good position with Cliff Baskerville, Eric Gash. Tommy Thigpen makes a play, forces them to take three after the long drive. And uh, Carolina does force Georgia Tech a 21-yard field goal. 10-3, 5-34 left in the second quarter. And then, Coach, we're going to see Natron one more time with a terrific run. Well, we were running the ball pretty well here. Natron cuts back inside. Joey Yock making a good block. Good blocking by the uh, front people. We still didn't establish the throwing game like we need to, John, to beat a team in the top 10, top 11. We've got to throw the ball better. Georgia Tech 10, Carolina 3 at halftime. Back with second half highlights after these messages. North Carolina down a touchdown at halftime. Coach, uh, what did you tell you guys at halftime? John, I told them to relax and play. My gosh, we were uptight. They were discouraged. They were disappointed. They were a decided underdog coming into the ball game. Mm -hmm. Told them if we'd relax and play, we'd have a chance to win the ball game in the fourth quarter. Very proud that's what they did. Coach, we're going to pick it up first down and 10. Georgia Tech 33. Your defense continues to play great. Outstanding job stretching it out, keeping it inside by Jonathan Perry, then his partner in crime on the other side, Eric Gash, comes in to make the play. Cookie Massey, sophomore, strong safety. Good pressure by Eric Gash and Tommy Thigpen. Outstanding play by Cookie. I thought Cookie might bring this one back. He's got that old wide receiver running style here, John, starting to make a good play. Uh, big play in the ball game to change field position, give us a chance to score. Second down 12, Tech 34, pass to Holiday. Tech is blitzing, got in Todd's face. Uh, Corey slips a little bit here, makes some yards. They get the face mask call right there, gives us first down. Third and one, Tech 23, Mike Falkerson. Boy, we nearly broke this one. Fight through that, Mike. Uh, Corey Holiday downfield breaking. Those are the things we have to do to go ahead and put it in the end zone, John. Excellent cut by Mike. Kick through that and go score. 26 yards. Gwaltney nails it. 10-6 Georgia Tech. Again, Clint remains uh, as one of the top kickers in the country. Coach, here's a terrific interception. Great job. Again, Tommy Thigpen's around. Excellent coverage by Cookie and Dale Jones. Dale intercepts it. Again, outstanding play by our defense. That's fourth down. Scott McAllister, who had another terrific day, is going to punt. And watch Reggie Clark. Well, Reggie had already told him he was going to be back, I think, John. And... <laughs> And they were very much aware of him. What body control here to force the fumble. Comes out of the young Georgia Tech player's hands. Reggie gets on it. Gives us a chance to go score. First down in, uh, at the seven. But Georgia Tech is very tough here. Natron means for two. Natron turns it up. Uh, Georgia Tech's given up one touchdown all year at this point, John. And uh, uh, very proud of this play. We come off tackle. Good movement by the right side. Excellent cut by Natron. Got in the end zone. 13-10, North Carolina. 13-18 left in the game. And now we're going to go down to where Georgia Tech has it second and fourth, the Carolina four. Coach, you just talked through this because it's three great plays. Well, it's one of the better goal line stands probably in the history of our school. Dwight Hollier steps up on a second down after we force the incompletion on first down. Come back again. Dwight Hollier, the reason he's all conference, John, penetrates with our, our, with our defensive line, makes the play fourth down and one. <clears throat> Austin Robbins and Eric Gash penetrate. Look at the happy faces on that defense. John, this is something we haven't been able to do for two years, but to stop a top-rated team on uh, fourth down and inches, difference in the ball game. You'll have to do it again right after this play, too. Well, they came back. We have a bust. Excellent play by them. Covington catches it. We missed the tackle. Got a lot of people chasing the ball. We're backed up again, but again, look at the pressure. The penetration here by Eric Gash and Tommy Thigpen. Alex Samakis is there. We're penetrating, John. We're coming after people trying to win the game. Now watch Thigpen on this play. Again, excellent coverage. It forces them to throw flat, uh, short in the flat to... Uh, uh, their fullback, Tommy Thigpen, is right there. Forces the field goal uh, and uh, gives us a chance to get the ball back. 13-13 with 101 left in the football game. Carolina now is trying to win it. Trying to get the ball down the field, John. They drop so deep. We get the ball to Mike Falkerson. We have a couple other incompletions. And uh, Georgia Tech comes back here with a Hail Mary on the last play of the game. Uh, again, Georgia Tech comes from behind. Uh, tire football team late. Uh, very proud of their effort. At the play, pass up in the air, no good. So the ball game ends 13-13 tie. North Carolina football highlights brought to you by Gatorade. And Carol, uh, Carolina strong safety Cookie Massey says the Tar Heel defense had something to prove. 